اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to focus on generalized structured component analysis, which is a new feature in Smart PLS. Now, previously, we have performed our structural equation modeling using PLS and covariance-based SCM. Now, this is another method whereby scholars can perform or run their models based on the approach of structural equation modeling. using another method that is GSCA which is a multivariate method that allows you to specify and estimate the path relationship between observed variables and components that is weighted sum of observed variables. Now in this short session I'm just going to introduce how to run a model using GSCA. Now one of the few advantages is that it offers you the fits So you can have a different fits to assess whether or how well the model accounts for the observed data. Now, in order to run a model using GSCA in Smart PLS, what we are going to do is we are going to have, let's say, we can use the same project, one of the same projects. So let's say I've got this project here and I click GSCA. Now the project, let's say I use B data, the model type is GSCA and let's say we run first underscore model, click save. Now let's say I'm interested in assessing the impact of assurance on organizational performance. drag and drop just the way we used to do it in other models we're going to use the same approach and let's say if we now click connect here now it's it has turned blue we are good to go save it calculate and let's run the basic gsca algorithm all good let's start Now, these are your outer loadings, path coefficients, outer loadings. You would notice that the results are the same. It's just that the technique is different. Again, outer loadings, all good. Reliability and validity, all good. Composite reliability, well, it doesn't show here the composite reliability. But obviously they might fix it soon so you've got it in graphical form and which you can estimate from here as well discriminant validity all good now where are the model fits and how to assess them look at the model fits well the estimated model we are interested here the SRMR and less than 0.08 closer to zero is good and for fit it's a uh, Closer to 1 is a good. Well, this is adjusted for the free parameters, so it's good. These are local fit indices. Uh, we are going to talk about these later as well. But for now, let's say we focus only on, on these two. They are closer to 1, so you can say that your model fit is good. So I've got a reference here for these as well. If you look here, The values of fit range from 0 to 1 and can be interpreted as the variance accounted by the model specification. The larger the value, the more the model variance is explained in the linear regression. So the model explains how much variance? 64.6% of the variance for fit. And when you are using a fit, it means 64.4%. Overall, we can say it's a reasonable fit now i've got another output here again it says that 50 percent of the variance of all the variables is explained by the model so you can convert it into a percentage so this is how you can run a simple basic model in smart pls with g 
SCA algorithm. Now, if I want to test my hypothesis, go to calculate, bootstrapping. Let's go for 5000. Let's use bias corrected, one tailed, and all good. Let's start. Now, if you look here, path coefficients, the relationship is significant. This means that assurance has a significant and positive impact on OP. Now, this was very simple model using GSCA. We'll do more complex modeling using GSCA soon. Thank you very much.